Hello and welcome again to Stocks Advisor. Today we'll talk about Tellurian Interpreted, ticker named TEL, traded at Nasdaq. Well, uh, Tellurian is now actually uh, showing, again, um, looks like end of the major correction. And maybe you noted that we often discuss these kind of patterns. Uh, I really like those because they're very predictable in the trade. You really know what's happening and how uh, to trade here, what to expect and what your reaction should be. So first, uh, to understand what's going on here, we are from, uh, let's say, pre-November period really growing here. We had two steps growth. So one was finishing by beginning of the year and then we had really an accelerated growth all the way from beginning of the year. And then we went actually uh, by mid of January to four plus and then the major correction started and we were very strongly overbought. RSI wise also MACD was quite high. Then correction started with a uh, confirmation of decline that took place at four dollars in the middle of February. We see now the clear uh, correction is taking place with deceleration patterns. So, I mean, deceleration of the decline, meaning it's slowing down. Uh, to understand this, let's look through the channel. So the first channel of correction was taking place from February to March. It was quite fast. You can see really sharp decline. Then, of course, some recovery. And then we had a secondary uh, correction that was a bit slower and it nicely rebounds from moving average 200 by middle of April. What does it mean it was slower? It means that its uh, slope is not that uh, steep, you can see. But now what's happening, uh, we are in trap between moving average 20 and 50. It's a classical pattern. But what is interesting, it seems like uh, there is a formation of the new channel. If this is really confirmed, this will be even slower one. So we still might decline, but if the bottom is confirmed, we could, we could either immediately pierce already. If, if it happens, it will be really nice because moving average 20 is already flat, so it might go higher. If this is going to happen, we are going to return to positive move. And then the very first level of the major support resist will be between actually uh, 3 and 350. This is with the channel to wait for. Uh, if we still decline, uh, it's okay. If we confirm this letter uh, channel, it will be also very good confirmation of, of soon upcoming major correction, uh, major uh, upwards move, so end of the correction. But in, if even if we have immediate um, pierce of this uh, la last channel, it would be, um, let's say, even better confirmation because there are indications for that. First of all, it's MACD. You can see it looks like it's not willing to cross downwards. It looks like going to form the secondary upwards wave. If this is going to happen, it would mean we are really going to pierce higher. So the break the channel upwards. RSI is also staying in the middle of the zone and it's, it might also rebound here going really high. So everything is prepared for upwards move. We don't need... Uh, we, I mean, we need to make all steps not to miss it, but also we need to, of course, take into account possible decline. But there are very well formed support levels where we can keep some money to buy through uh, by this exiting with the profit overall. So what would be the first uh, area to buy? It's, of course, in the current channel size. To be more precise, it is within the body of the previous candle. It will be between 199 and actually uh, 218 so let's make it our first call out here we can write it uh, right here for us it will be 199 and 218 so this is the primary technical pattern the most expected uh, behavior is to rebound and go all the way to 3 350 as a midterm and if you are daily trader of course you want to uh, let's say still exit earlier with the profit and then it's advised to take a profit from 15 to 20 percent uh, a bit more than usual usually we advise from uh, let's say 10 to 15 but here it's 15 to 20 percent because this is really fastly moving chart and we know that this company could really uh, uh, do nice moves so this is the way uh, to trade here so let's write it, let's put it here as a note so this is our note for a profit for profit taking, once you have this, really take it, enjoy, don't hesitate, re-enter if needed, but don't wait too long because uh, the position might expire and you will be losing money instead of making the profit. So don't lose the opportunity to take the profit. This is the major advice. So if the primary technical pattern is not confirmed, uh, if the, we are going to break the wave, and, uh, we're going to break the channel, then of course we most probably also will break moving average 200. And then we just need to uh, see the next uh, strong support level, which is just 
uh, formed here clearly. This is the level between 150 and 168. Extremely strong because moving average 200 will be on the higher part of it. And uh, overall, this is the trade that was this is the channel that was historically traded uh, often here. So let's make a call out for this one, 150 to. Uh, 168. This is our secondary technical pattern. What does it mean? It means that if the primary one is not working, then uh, you can buy through the secondary one because we always um, do it based on so-called mixed analysis where we discuss technical patterns, then support resist levels and non-linear averaging down and also risk mitigation. So this is part of the non-linear averaging down. If the first technical pattern or primary technical pattern is not confirmed, then you keep extra funds and we will talk about how and which funds to keep. Uh, you keep those for secondary um, technical pattern. So once this is confirmed, then you can, of course, make your profit. And if after secondary technical pattern, there is very big, unfortunate, very rare case, but still a negative catalyst kicks in, you also know how to do because we discussed those levels where to buy and then you will be actually very safe. It's over secured approach to trade. And of course, talking of the um, risk mitigation due to negative catalyst, we just need to look at the very principal trading levels here. And these are within this range. So it's just the level between uh, 1 and 129. It's not that we say the price will go there. It's not that it is expected to go there. It's just the risk mitigation. So it's just to keep some funds to buy at those levels, if any. And uh, most probably, and in most cases, usually you don't use those funds in the trade, but you just keep them. This is very important um, because we don't discuss stop loss. We don't discuss um, exiting with losses, re-entering, etc. But we always uh, discuss keeping extra funds to average down non-linearly and exit with the profit. So this might take a little bit longer time, but we don't want to see negativity at the end of the trade. We always want to have it positive or in the worst case scenario, at least a draw. And with this being said, uh, this is the way to trade. Three levels of support. Two are the technicals, primary, secondary, and the last one is risk mitigation if any negative catalyst kicks in. So this is the way to trade. And if you think of how to buy through those channels, uh, this is, again, classical five portions play. So what does it mean? It means that the funds you would like to play here, you can split in five portions. Then you can buy with one portion in the first channel. Uh, if the first primary channel is uh, technical channel is not confirmed, then we go to a secondary technical channel. So between 150 and 168, you buy with another two portions. And if any negative catalyst kicks in and we go to the third line, you just buy with remaining two portions there. And then it will be extremely safe way to trade, allowing you to exit still with the profit here. Although maybe it will take a little bit longer time. So this is the way to trade with Tellurian. Overall, very nice stock. Uh, the primary expectation is very positive, at least to the level of 3 to 350, but also we need to keep into account other um, things which we discussed here. So good luck with this one. If you like the analysis and the uh, style of trading we provide and propose in our opinion videos, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Also press the bell button. This way you will not miss our new videos and new interesting discussions for US-based stocks.